Contact Profile Manager. These new features will give you quick access to the contact information and the ability to view, edit, add, or delete contacts without having access to contact management in Studio. This means that there is no need to install Studio to access this feature. We start by looking at the dashboard. You will see a minor change in the dashboard. There are two new links along the top, Reports and Contacts. The Reports link is the default selection and shows the dashboard as it has been all along. As before, clicking on Numbers in the dashboard brings up a list of those contacts. And double-clicking on a name brings up the contact profile for that contact. We will take a closer look at this new contact profile screen later in this video. Clicking on the Contacts link allows you to access your contacts in a new way, displaying all the contacts for the selected account. Columns can be resized. They can be moved. Or you can even hide a column. Contacts can also be sorted using any column heading. You can search by first name, last name, email, and company name. Use Advanced Search to search by any standard or custom field. Click on Add Filter, select a property, and define the parameters. In this case, the city field equals Los Angeles. Click on Search and find that two contacts were found with Los Angeles in the city field. To close Advanced Search, Click on the Advanced Search button again. To go back to displaying all records, just do an empty search. You can manually add a contact to this subaccount's contact database by clicking on the Add a Contact button. Section 1 shows the required fields or properties for generating a personalized URL. First name and last name. Section 2 shows the fields that are used for each dedupe group. Section 3 shows the properties that you have marked as required in the Contact Management section of the Studio. For this subaccount, that's City and Country. Section 4 shows all the standard and custom fields or properties that have been defined in the Contact Management section of the Studio. To save your changes, click Save and Return. This will take you back to the contact list. Or click Save and Add Another Contact if you want to add another contact. Otherwise, you can discard your changes by clicking Cancel and Return. In addition to adding contacts, you can view, edit, or delete them as well. If you select a name in the list, a delete button appears above. If you click the delete button, a confirmation message will appear and you can either confirm the deletion or cancel. It's important to note that these changes are not just for display purposes. Any changes you make here are being made in the contact database in Studio in the selected account. To edit or view a contact's profile information, you can either select the contact and click the Edit button, or, or just double-click on the contact. The contact's profile data is displayed. There is the About section, the Engagement section, and the Activity Timeline. On the left side, the contact's standard properties are displayed. Scroll down to see the data in the custom properties.
If you have logged into the dashboard as a user that has editing privileges, you can edit any of the standard or custom properties. To enable editing, move the slider to the right. If you want to save your changes, just click on the Save Changes button in the bottom left. Over on the right, the Contacts Activity Timeline is displayed. This displays the activity for all programs that are contained in the selected account. The Activity Timeline can be customized by clicking on the Settings icon and specifying a date range, or by specifying which channels to display. In the Activity Timeline, clicking on the Information button will display additional information for that specific activity. And if the contact submitted a form in a microsite, the form data will also be displayed. The Engagement tab shows the contact's scores and goals that have been achieved. The date range under the activity timeline will also affect the engagement statistics that are displayed. Notice that scores appear for this contact when a longer time frame is selected, but no scores have been recorded in a more recent time frame. When you are finished viewing or editing the contact data, you can get back to the main dashboard by clicking on the Reports link in the top banner. And that's it. If you have any questions, please contact Mindfire Support at support at mindfireinc.com. Thank you.